Welcome back to RGR Craft. I'm Ryan, and this is a show all about the craft beer industry, home brewing, and how you can do more with malt, hops, and water. Welcome back to the show. It's been a little bit. We are retooling how we're going to approach this show going forward. We filmed a couple of things. We're in the process of getting those squared away, and we're going to do kind of a soft relaunch here soon. But I wanted to hit you with some news because it's so apparent about this COVID virus that, and, and its effect on what's going on in craft beer across the country and, quite frankly, around the world. Want to give a couple of pieces of news out uh, before we get to the topic of the day that how you can help save craft beer. One is that uh, for those of you in Kansas City, I know a lot of you listeners are uh, in that area, Boulevard announced a new collaboration with the Kansas City Royals on a beer called Hustle Up. And I, I think it's very fitting if they get to play baseball again, that this will be something that you'll be able to uh, enjoy out at the park and around town and so on and so forth. Everything is kind of on hold until the implication of the virus actually comes down and we know a little bit more about what's going to go forth. But keep an eye out for that. It's going to be a new flavor out when the boys of summer return. Now, a couple of things in terms of the craft beer industry and the news that you might get. You heard my shows about GABF last year. You heard a couple of updates about how the industry is progressing. Well, this COVID virus has done a lot of damage, and it's not just in the marketing department. There are a number of big events that have had to be canceled. CBC is canceled. Just recently, we got news that the Collaboration Beer Fest is going to be canceled as well. So there is enough concern about what's going on that organizations are trying to take stock and trying to do a better job in controlling the exposure that beer fans and brewers get in and amidst this virus until we get clear sailing. Looks like it's going to be business as a very abnormal process. And business is what I want to get to. If you've seen my Twitter feed at Ryan Tracy NFL, you can grab that and you'll see a link to a story out in Colorado that I think is really, really important. And I wanted to replicate that across the country and around the world to tell you the truth, because this phenomenon of growth of craft beer that we saw over the last 10 years has started to wait. We've seen a little bit of a pullback in the last 12 months and this virus is hitting, especially the smaller breweries, very, very hard. It makes it difficult to be able to move your liquid refreshments when your target audience, your purchase power, lies in people coming in and enjoying that over a tap, over a bar, in a tap room, in a beer hall, whatever you happen to have. People are not to the point now where they can co-mingle, that they can be social. And that puts a big drain on the availability of the purchaser to the brewer. And what a company out in Colorado has done is come up with uh, a very kind but a very fortunate gesture to try and combat that. And it comes down to the fact that if you have outstanding volume on hand and you need to find a way to move it, under current regulations across the country, there are, are municipalities and states that are being shut down completely uh, in quarantine lockdown. In Colorado, it's not to that point so that folks can still go out and go to a location. You can't go in and consume. You can't go in and sit at a table because flat surfaces carry the virus more so than most. And so what you can do is go pick up growlers, crawlers, and cans. And Cody Manufacturing in Golden, Colorado has decided that as part of their business venture and really to save not only their customers, but the craft industry itself, they have started three mobile canneries moving around the state, helping small breweries in particular, those that rely on their tap rooms for income, those that rely on word of mouth getting to the location that is currently dried up, they're going to can their beer for free. 
It has begun as of the time of this recording on Thursday, March 19th, and they are rolling. It's saving breweries and being able to market their beer just as good as it was for folks to run by and pick up without exposing themselves, without taking a chance at sitting within the six-foot perimeter that has been suggested by the CDC, trying to conform with all the rules and regulations that should keep us safe as a society of beer drinkers. And this goes a long way because the bottom line for a lot of commercial breweries that are less than two years old, and quite frankly, a number of them that are older than that, rely on pub sales, on tap rooms, and getting the volume out through their taps into their glasses under their roof. What this allows you to do is take outstanding stock that you've already brewed that is currently aging and is ready to be released and get it into cans so that you can make some profit off of it. Get yourself a bottom line. Now, at that point, you can reduce your cost by shutting down how much you're brewing. Maybe you only make a batch a week. Maybe it allows you to dial back enough until you know what the demand is going to be so that you're not putting all this product out that you can't sell. And while that's not the most optimal business plan, it is one that allows for the survival of the small brewer, the guy that can't just rely on distribution. So they got together with Coda Brewing in Golden, first and foremost, and it gave us an idea of what they are going through. Bringing a canning line, a mobile canning line, to the facility, canning off of as many stainless containers as they can find, Bright tank after bright tank and getting cans filled, sealed, and ready to sell. And that is going to save breweries across the state. And if this catches on across the country, because that profit will allow them to keep the lights on while they try to sustain through this crisis. And I really do think that it is a crisis. We're going to hear more about that in the weeks that come and its effect on the craft beer industry. I think that what we have to do is if you happen to be a brewer out there, if you happen to own a small brewery, get in touch with your local canners, get in touch with Cody manufacturing. If you have to be uh, close around uh, in the area, not only to Colorado, but uh, Wyoming, Utah, New Mexico, there is some mobility to these uh, canning lines that can help you. Reach out, ask for some help. This isn't just a free handout. The breweries do have to buy and purchase uh, the cans and the lids as they normally would. It is a function of the canner donating his equipment and his time to try and keep his customers afloat. And that helps not only the craft brew industry, that particular brewery, but it helps the canner as well because Cody's going to have more customers for their canning lines when this is all said and done than they would if they had ignored the issue and allowed brewery after brewery to fail and to come in underfunded at a loss to the point where small businesses have to go out of business because they can't move product. So there is that aspect that it is a symbiotic relationship between the canners and the canning lines and the breweries that they service. It definitely will be a community uproar that keeps everybody afloat. So I encourage you all to look at your community and what you can do to help if you are a professional brewer. If you're a home brewer, this changes things for you as well. You're going to see an uptick in mail order malt. Uh, I do encourage you to check out maltsters like Mecca Grade, You've probably heard of that one. Check Proximity as well. Uh, Check Root Shoot, who has led to an independent maltster seal out of Colorado. Uh, Most maltsters will ship to homebrewers. You're going to see an uptick in that. You're going to see an uptick in equipment for a bit because the craft beer fan that can't get product because breweries can't sell it is more apt to go out and either restart brewing if you if you've got brewing experience and just have shut down the hobby for a bit or to pick up the hobby in general if you are a home brewer i implore you hit the forums 
put your stuff here on YouTube or into a podcast. Help us spread the word about home brewing because it can keep not only uh, the brew world alive and happy, but it can protect families, brewers, beer drinkers, craft fans across the country. It all has to go together. And I think if it does, this is a, a crowdfunded, a grassroots way to save an industry that is very perceptible to whatever forces outside of it can act upon it. Economically, obviously medically, this is a crisis point for the craft beer industry. And I'm very, very much trying to spread the word so that you all can help everyone else help themselves. This is going to be a tough road, and I'm looking forward to seeing some of the innovative ideas that come out of it. There are mobile canneries everywhere in every state in the union. And for those of you out in Hawaii, mahalo for what you do as well. I have seen, I have talked to a number of them. Folks need to help each other stay afloat while the beer drinking public tries to figure out how they can move forward. Now, that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm going to be back with some news episodes like this from time to time. We're going to do some beer reviews. Got some guys joining the channel. We are still working on that, and we will have more content for you as we get going on the RGR Craft Podcast. Hope you enjoyed this one. Please subscribe on iTunes if you found it there. Definitely on YouTube if you found us there. And we'll be back with more. Thanks for listening today, and we'll talk to you next time. 